Well, imagine not being able to leave your house because you hate what you see in the mirror. Mirror. It's a reality for thousands of Americans dealing with body dysmorphic disorder. But many people are never diagnosed because they're just too ashamed to reach out for help or they don't realize how it really is impacting their life. So joining me now to talk more about this debilitating disorder and the warning signs, Lori Osachi, owner of the Body Image Counseling Center. We appreciate you coming in today. Now, this affects 1% of people. And for those people, you said it really can be debilitating where they don't even want to leave the house. It can be awful. It can ruin relationships. They can lose their jobs. And uh, it, it can become that extreme. And what are the warning signs, not only for the person to look out for, but also a friend or a family member if they see this in somebody? Well, the, the thing about body dysmorphic disorder is unlike other eating disorders where people know they have a problem, people with BDD just think that the, the, uh, the part of their body is the problem. And so they often seek lots of treatments to help, like hair treatments or a lot of plastic surgery is a warning sign, buying all kinds of makeup and having trouble leaving, having, uh, focusing on one part of the body. If you see someone you love just saying their, their stomach looks terrible or acne is another one, they can't leave because of acne or, or their nose is another uh, common, um, common feature that, that's affected. You can point out that you see how it's keeping them from enjoying life. Right. And, and even though a person may say, you're absolutely beautiful, you know, I love this about you, they just can't get past the fact that that's not the person that this person sees in the mirror. They don't see that beauty. Right. I wish that would work, but it's a very complicated uh, illness that often has a genetic component mm -hmm. and a brain chemistry component that makes it very difficult to accept that kind of compliment and see the reality. And sometimes there's a history of trauma for people with BDD. So it becomes a coping mechanism in a way. And it's counseling and actually medicine that does help. And, but we were talking earlier, we said that all of us kind of have a degree of this. Maybe not that it's debilitating keeps us in the house, but we see something, and especially in our self-centered society with social media, that we don't like and it just causes us to like not even take compliments. How can people who deal with that cope? That's true. I mean, I do think it's a continuum. And advertisers make us believe that we're not good enough. Mm -hmm. It's not just self-centeredness. It's that there's a billion dollar industry convincing men and women that we're either not young enough, not pretty enough, our skin isn't perfect enough, our butt isn't the right shape. Right, I mean, right. there's always something. So part of, part of getting better from this is realizing that it's not just in our head, that our culture is kind of messed up around this stuff and that we want to get angry about it, especially when we look at young girls and young boys who are being subjected to these kinds of messages. I mean, from the time you're five years old, mm -hmm. studies show that kids see fat as negative. Right, right. You know, and, but, so. and you said it's discipline. It's really like we have to talk to ourselves, talk to our kids and our family members and teach them that there's so much more than what you see on the outside. It's a discipline to talk back to the culture and you really have to have an ongoing dialogue talking back to those messages that tell you to hate yourself or hate a part of your body. Wow, it's just so, and you know, and it's funny because you think about what internally is so much more important. You know, it really, you, you get this from your genetics and your parents, but what's inside is really just so important. But that's a hard message to give, especially right now. Well, there are other cultures that I think do a better job, <laughs> but yeah. um, we can work on it. You know, we can do better. And of course, working with a specialist such as myself, you know, someone that can help turn those messages around can really be helpful too. All right, thank you. It's good information, you know, for all of us, not just the 1%. Now, if you are someone, you or someone you love is suffering from BDD or any other type of eating disorder, you can contact Lori at the Body Imaging Counseling Center for any advice. We have a link to our website, newsforjax.com, and also we'll post this interview if you want a few more tips. You'll find that on the Morning Show page. Alicia. Well, he 